Hello and welcome to Libertas News. It's Tuesday, the 9th of July. My name is Mark Thomas. The first parts of the future Pelishats Bridge have appeared above the Adriatic Sea. After all 148 pilots were installed in May this year, the first parts have arisen above the Adriatic yesterday morning. After less than a year since the Chinese company China Road and Bridges won the contract to build the new Pelishats Bridge, the first signs of the bridge have arisen from the depths of the sea. The Chinese company are working flat out to complete the bridge and indeed finish the first stage, the installation of the pilots, a full 12 days ahead of schedule. There are 385 workers on site, of which 341 are Chinese and 44 Croatian staff as well as one of the largest cranes in the world. At the rate of work is being completed, there is a good chance that the Pelishats Bridge will be completed ahead of schedule and, quite possibly, before any of the access roads are ready. Cruise ships on the Croatian Adriatic are not a rare sight and in the first five months of this year, there were 171 cruisers on round trips. There were 19% more passengers, or 247,000 passengers, according to data from the Central Bureau of Statistics in the first five months of this year. The exact number of the cruise ships or cruisers was 43, which is three more than in the first five months of 2018. By month, most cruise ships of foreign vessels this year on the Croatian Adriatic were made in May, a total of 88, which is three trips or 3.5% more than in May 2018 while the largest increase of these trips of 48.5% was achieved in April when there were 49. As usual, Dubrovnik was the most visited cruise port with 124 visits of cruisers, followed by Split with 76, Zadar with 32 and Korchula with 30. Summer is here, the temperatures are rising, and everyone's feeling the need to jump into the Adriatic Sea. The only problem is which beach to choose. Vogue Paris might help you a bit with an article entitled Croatia's Most Beautiful Beaches for Swimming. With its constellation of crystalline coves, Croatia's reputation among sun seekers is only getting stronger. Cast an eye over our favourite beaches direct from the Dalmatian coast, writes Vogue in an article that brings some of the most beautiful Croatian beaches. And two of the Vogue choices are in Dubrovnik, the iconic Banja beach and the harder to find Betina cave which the magazine describes as a stone's throw south of Dubrovnik. Bet in a cave is tucked behind a rocky cave. Preserved beautifully, this sun trap is only accessible by sea, whether water taxi or kayak. We're on the eve of one of the biggest cultural events in Dubrovnik this summer, the Dubrovnik Summer Festival. Everything kicks off tomorrow night at 9 o'clock with the gala opening ceremony. And then at 10 o'clock, it's time for the fireworks. Get yourself down to Dubrovnik tomorrow night. And tonight, the renowned Dubrovnik folklore ensemble Linjo will perform songs and dances from Croatia. The dancing kicks off at 9.30 tonight in the Lazarity complex, just east of the old city. Grab some traditional Dubrovnik and Croatian culture before the 70th summer festival kicks off. So if we are to believe the weather forecast, Dubrovnik is in for a day of, wait for it, rain tomorrow. After one and a half months of solid sunshine, the first drops of rain should fall tomorrow. It will be stormy and cloudy with rain until 8 o'clock in the evening. Highs will reach 26 degrees. The Adriatic Sea is a warm 25 degrees. Pašača Beach in Konavle is one of those hidden gems of the Dubrovnik region. Well, at least it used to be hidden, but in recent years it seems that the spotlight has fallen on it and turned it into an attraction. Located in the small village of Popovici, in pretty much the heart of the Konavle wilderness, the beach looks like it has been especially created by Hollywood as a set for From Here to Eternity. With unbelievable translucent seas, skyscraping cliffs and a bright white beach edged in, you have the feeling that you, if you dreamt the perfect beach, it will probably look something like this. It looks like nature had intended. There are no bars, no loud music, no sunbeds and no shops. Just you, the beach and an endless Adriatic Sea. This has been Libertas News from Dubrovnik. My name is Mark Thomas. Don't forget you can catch up on our news on our YouTube channel. 
Have a great day and thanks for watching.